Hello! Hi! Today we have the December Munch Pack to open up. This is a monthly subscription that we've been doing for a while that sends different snacks, treats, and candies from all over the world every single month. We have a link that you can use for $5 off of your first box if you're interested in signing up. And I'll just link Munchpack's website down below as well if you're interested in signing up just so you can check them out for their pricing information. We have their original size box to open up today. I'm interested to see if any of these items in here are like holiday themed because some of the other boxes that we mm. do, like their December box is yeah. like a holiday box. So I'm very interested to see what's in this box. I will also link all of our playlists for all of our other subscribers box videos down below as well because we do a lot of them. Mm -hmm. This month's box features snacks from the United Kingdom, Japan, Mexico, and more. So the Munch Pack comes with a little book that just has a tiny bit of information about the snacks that are in here yeah. and then like a little tiny like fun fact here and there about like a different country or about like the snacks or something but not a lot of like specific information about like the country like a lot of the boxes that we do are very educational this one not as much yeah. we also do the drink upgrade on this box and there are three different size boxes it's been a while since we've talked about the book and i love this book the best there are three different size boxes of the munch pack and they very clearly show you what is in each size box no matter what box you get you get to see what would have been in mm -hmm. all of the boxes so that's just really cool to see if you want to get more or less than what you're already yeah. signed up for first up we have doritos pizza rolas from mexico if pizza and doritos got married and had a baby these chips would be it filled to the max with flavor this chip is about to become your favorite child in your chip family pizza doritos this is crazy it smells just like pizza yeah i love doritos and i love pizza flavored chips so i'm totally here for this me too yeah that's good that's really good i don't think it's as strong of a pizza flavor as some other pizza chips like pizza yeah. pringles but it's really good yeah i think the corn kind of gets in the way of that flavor too so maybe that's not why it's so strong you taste a lot of corn maybe. but not in a, it's not bad it's not like a bad thing no it tastes really good i like the texture with the pizza flavor yeah. i think i'm really here for any pizza flavored chip really Me too. But that's good i wonder why we don't have that in yeah. america we have so many pizza flavored things but not doritos next we have kit kat chunky cookie dough from the uk this kit kat is thick this isn't the normal size Kit Kat. This one is triple the size, triple the flavor, and has a layer of delicious cookie dough between the crisp wafers. We've actually had this before. We, we have. have done a whole review on it. We have a lot of Kit Kat reviews. We have a whole playlist of them. Mm -hmm. And my sister actually brought us one of these. She lives in Australia and they have a lot of UK candies in yeah. Australia. And we like the chunky Kit Kats. They have a ton of different ones. We've mm -hmm. tried a few of them, but I really just liked the plain chunky Kit Kat the best like it didn't have any extra filling this straight up has cookie dough in it yeah. it tastes sour I think what we encounter with these though is that the chocolate doesn't taste the same no as the chocolate that we have here so it it doesn't even really taste like a Kit Kat that much mm -hmm. the flavor that's coming through the most for me is just like brown sugar yeah it's really intensely sweet and it's not as chewy as I expect it to yeah, be yeah you want it to be chewier if you're claiming that it's cookie dough right maybe if you stuck that one in the fridge or the freezer yeah you know how you like put a Reese's in the freezer I think this one would do well in the freezer I was thinking that while you were cutting it it's definitely a little too sweet I like I don't think I would ever pick that I think one. it's a lot too sweet yeah I wouldn't pick that. But I guess that's like the territory you're in when you have cookie dough. Yeah. It's always sweet. Not bad though. Up next we have a substitution. This is Dora 3 Croissant Chocolate and Vanilla Cream from Italy. This soft baked croissant is filled with sweet and tasty chocolate and vanilla milk cream. A delicious treat for an early morning snack with coffee. Based off of the packaging, I was expecting so much more filling than this. I think I'm noticing a trend with these croissant-like packaged pastries. There's never a lot of filling. That's not bad. No, we've had a few things like that. Even like in America, we've had a few like prepackaged croissants yeah. like that. And they all kind of taste the same, but I don't mind them. Kind of like a sweet roll. Not really a croissant. You're right. It tastes like a Hawaiian roll. And like, that's it. Maybe like more sweet than a Hawaiian roll, especially with that filling. But yeah, once you put it in your mouth, it's like, this is a roll. This yeah. is bread. Yeah, you're right. It has like a very specific texture. They all do. It like kind of is lighter and then it squishes together in a very specific way in your mouth. Yeah, like bread. Yeah, like bread. <laughs> <laughs> I like them. Me too. I, I don't have a problem with them. No. I definitely prefer like a fresh croissant better, but I'm into it. These are Minard Sour Patch Cherry Blasters from Canada. Sweet cherry flavored gummies with a sour outside. These deliver on real fruit flavor and sour sugar crystal goodness 
in a chewy gummy that you'd be hard pressed to find elsewhere. I would never Very pick cherry. I would. That's good. It's a borderline medicinal cherry flavor. I imagine most cherry candies are like that. And that's why I never pick them, but it's a good sourness because it's like a yeah. Sour Patch Kid. I wish it were a little more sour though. I wish- Maybe it's because it's just so small. I wish the whole thing was just a little bit bigger. Yeah, me too. I think that would solve that problem. But it's good. I mean, I like cherry things, especially sour cherry, so it's up my alley anyway. I actually really like it even though I don't like cherry candies. It's been a while since we've had a really good sour candy. Yeah. I'm here for it. Nestle Princesa Strawberry Milkshake Edition from Poland. This bar from Nestle has classic crunchy Princesa wafers and is layered with strawberry cream for a tasty snack experience that tastes just like drinking a strawberry milkshake. This is very colorful. <laughs> this one and the last four items make up the mini size box. Mm -hmm. So if you got the smallest size box, you would get these five things. So it's a wafer. It smells delicious. It does smell good. I feel like it's been a little while since we've had a wafer. Yeah. It smells better than it tastes. I generally don't like the things that try to be like milkshake. You How know? specific? Because they always have that like sour milk flavor to them. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like if that were just strawberries and cream. Yeah, it definitely smelt so much better. When I smelled it, I was like, oh yeah, More this fruity. could be good. It really didn't taste like strawberry that much. It no. mostly just tasted like wafer and sour milk. Just not great. Not that good. The layers of cream in between the wafer was a little bit too thick for me. Yeah. So it was like a creamier experience, which might be up your alley. It's just whatever you prefer. I like yeah. it to be crisper than that. Me too. That was disappointing. Yeah. These are Twix Winter Spice from the United Kingdom. This limited edition Twix has a biscuit base, caramel and chocolate topping, but winter spices including nutmeg and cinnamon have been added to give it a warm feeling. A holiday Ooh. item. It smells good. It does. Sometimes I don't really like cinnamon and chocolate together. We'll see. It's a lot spicier than I thought it'd be. Me too. It's actually really good. Yeah. I'm surprised we don't have this in America. Me too. And I'm surprised we don't have more limited edition Twix. What the yeah, heck? Probably one of the better holiday items we've had this year. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's like just the right amount of spice. And since there's not a lot of chocolate on a Twix to begin with, you mostly get like a spicy caramel flavor. Yeah, it's exactly a normal Twix just yeah. with some spices in there. These are Mesco Zozole Happy Zello from Poland. These gummies have a delightfully unique chewy texture and come in a mix of sweet fruity flavors. The happy face shape is adorable so you can't help but smile back while snacking. They smell very perfumey. Oh shoot, I think this one's passion fruit. I think this one's passion fruit. Are they all passion fruit? Or does the passion fruit scent just rub off on everything? Tastes like a bottle of perfume. They're very like essence-y. That's terrible. The orange was okay. The passion fruit tasted like perfume. Holy cow, that did not taste like you were supposed to eat it. I do kind of like the texture. Yeah, it's similar to like a fruit snack. But it's like dry on the outside and a little softer. It's like a crust almost <laughs> on the outside. I know that doesn't sound good, but it's like kind of a different texture. And the orange one was okay. Like I would eat more of that orange one. <laughs> I would not eat more of the passion fruit ones. It definitely just tasted like perfuming. Yeah. Flowers and chemicals. Mm -hmm. Next up from Wales, we have Taylor's Cheese and Onion Crisps. These thick cut crisp chips have a great crunch and a deliciously enticing cheese and onion smell. There's a mild cheesiness and a warm potato flavor laced with a hint of onion. We've had cheese and onion chips. I don't know if they were from Wales. They were from the UK, maybe. And I remember liking them a lot. Yeah. That's good. That is very good. The thing about cheese and onion chips from like Wales and the UK and stuff like that, it's like a really mild cheese flavor. Here it's like so strong and fake that yeah. it's not great. This one's nice and mild. You get the good saltiness, a little bit of onion flavor. Again, not overpowering, nice and potatoey and so crisp. We always talk about how we enjoy crisps as opposed to chips. Yeah. It's a totally different experience. This was different though. The crisps that we've had from the UK before are like a drier chip, not as oil saturated, but like a light crunch. Yeah. This had all those characteristics, but then also was like harder. It was definitely yeah. a crunchier crunch. I wonder if that's just because they're thicker. I don't know. Love them. This is Tiki Gold Coconut Craze from Trinidad. Try one of these delicious candy bars from the Caribbean. Each one has a chocolate coated wafer with either coconut cream filling or sweet and smooth vanilla cream. This is the third wafer that we've had if you count the Kit Kat. But this smells so good. It does. I'm always for coconut. 
That's really good. Mm -hmm. Way better than the strawberry one. Yeah, it has like a really buttery coconut flavor. It's super sweet and coconut. I don't really taste like the wafer at all. The coconut's really the strongest flavor and the chocolate's so thin that you, you can't really taste it. We get more of it in the aftertaste. It's good, it was a really crunchy, thick, like dense wafer. Yeah, really layered, really crisp, not too creamy. It was a good, a good one. one. And finally, we have Munchpack's own Kangaroo Crunch Bar from the United States. All new in the Munchpack lineup, we have the Kangaroo Crunch Bar, made from smooth white confection that tastes just like birthday cake frosting with sweet popping candies mixed in. This candy bar is a real treat. We've had one of Munchpack's white chocolate bars, white chocolate, white confection bars before, and it was the white chocolate and like fruity pebbles kind of. I remember liking it. I do not remember. It kind of tastes like cotton candy. A little bit, but I'm always a fan of Pop Rocks. It definitely has that very usual white chocolate flavor that we're used to. Yeah, it's supposed to taste birthday cakey. It, it doesn't really. No, and I think that works for it because birthday cake flavored things sometimes are just so not good yeah. that I'm glad that this isn't like a bad birthday cake flavor. It's like a good cotton candy flavor. I don't know why they're calling it white confection instead of white chocolate, <laughs> but I think it's like a decent enough white chocolate. It's okay. I would never pick white chocolate, but I like all the flavors that are going along right now with the popping candy. Not terrible. It's funny that they make their own candy. It is. The drink upgrade this month is Skull Handpicked White Peach Soda from Japan. This terrific limited edition Skull release combines white peach and cream soda to give it a mellow and refreshing taste. A unique beverage such as this has to be experienced. Well, those are definitely flavors that I am interested in. I love peach and I love cream soda. It is good, but it wasn't what I was anticipating. What were you anticipating? I was expecting it to be really sweet. Like cream soda is just like so insanely sweet to me. Yeah. But this isn't as sweet as I was expecting. It's more just like peach juice. Yeah. With a little bit of carbonation. I like it a lot. Almost like if you added like just plain seltzer water to like a peach juice and it like kind of diluted the flavor a little bit and gave it that little tingle. It's really good, like it seems like it's gonna be a refreshing soda. Yeah. Cream soda is not refreshing. No, it's definitely not. <laughs> so that was our December munch pack. Yeah, we got one holiday flavor. Yeah, one holiday thing. Hey, that's better than nothing. That was a good one too. Yeah. That was a good box. Yeah, I liked it. We do enjoy the munch pack. If you are looking for like last minute gifts, it's definitely last minute at this point as far as like shipping times go for things. Yeah. The munch pack makes a great one time gift. It also makes a great subscription gift if you wanted to give a couple of months to someone. But we do really think that the munch pack is a fun experience just in one individual yeah. box. You get a whole bunch of different countries in there. The original size is a really good size for a couple of people, but if you were just like giving it to like a kid, I think that would be a cool fun gift for like a young kid. But, like the mini size box, that could be fun, or it could be a great family gift. You could get the biggest size box. I think it's an awesome gift. If you wanted to give it to someone for Christmas at this point, this was the December box, so you could give them like the January box and just say like, hey, it's coming your way in January. That could be a fun thing for someone to look forward to. And I think out of all the boxes, if you're gonna go, if you're gonna spring for like the bigger box, I think this is the one to do it. Oh, because yeah. they don't repeat snacks. Everything's just different. Right. You get more Individu individual, individual snacks. Right. Rather than getting like maybe one or two or three in new individual snacks and then like, doubles or different flavors of something else. I, th I think you're right. The biggest size munch pack would be so great because then you're going to get even more countries to try snacks from. Yeah. I think that could be a really fun gift if you're just looking for something to give to like a whole family. This is a good box. I wouldn't worry so much that it's not going to arrive in time to actually give them the physical box. Yeah. Just have it shipped directly to their house and let them know. That would be a fun thing. And you can get $5 off of that box using our link below. Thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already so you don't miss any of our other subscription box videos. And follow us on Twitter and Instagram and like us on Facebook. Those links are down below.